In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the endpoint of a line segment when given the midpoint and one other point. The question reads, given the point A, which has the coordinates negative 5 and 4, is one endpoint of line segment AB, and M, which has these coordinates, is the midpoint of AB, find the coordinates of the other endpoint B. To do this successfully, you will need to know the midpoint formula, and that's shown right here. What I will do to start the process is substitute everything that I know into this formula. So if we take a look here, we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2. We've been given one point, we've called it A, but for simplicity's sake, I'll just call this point 1. And if this is the first point, then this coordinate is simply x sub 1, and that coordinate is y sub 1. So I'll replace negative 5 and 4 wherever I see these into this formula. Let me rewrite it over here. I have x sub 1, which is negative 5, plus, I don't know what x sub 2 is, so I'll just leave it the way it is, divided by 2. And for this part, I have y sub 1, it's 4, but I don't have y sub 2, divided by 2. Now, in case you're confused as to what we're doing, just pretend that we have a straight line in 2D space on an xy plane. We know one endpoint of that line, we know its midway point, but we don't know the other endpoint. And that's what we're looking for. So to find x sub 2 and y sub 2, remember this is like taking the average of the x values, and this is like taking the average of the y values. If we took the average of the x values, had we known what x sub 2 was, it would equal to 1, and that corresponds to the x coordinate of the midpoint. The same can be said for this, that would equal to 8. So let's take this individually. I'll rewrite this as 1 is equal to negative 5 plus x sub 2 over 2. And I'll rewrite this as 8 is equal to 4 plus y sub 2 over 2. Let's solve for these two unknowns. I'll start over here. I'll multiply both sides of the equation by 2. And what this will do is cancel out the 2 on the right side, leaving me with 2 is equal to negative 5 plus x sub 2. Solving for the unknown, I bring this over. I get 2 plus 5 is equal to x sub 2. Notice the symbol changed to positive 5. And so we get 7. That's the x coordinate of the endpoint. To get the y coordinate, We'll repeat the process, multiply both sides by 2, and we get 16 is equal to 4 plus y sub 2. Bringing that positive 4 over makes it negative. 16 minus 4 is 12, and that is the y coordinate. Therefore, our endpoint B has the coordinates 7 and 12, and now you can see that visually on the screen.